Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Private Investigator Advice, and this is another Private Investigator Advice video only uh, tech thing that we do here, podcast. It's only on the video. This is not going to be in your uh, podcast feed for uh, Private Investigator Advice. But today I've got some interesting news stories to share with you, um, just summaries of kind of uh, what I found I thought was pretty cool. Uh, that could relate to private investigators, investigators um, in regards to like technology and, and gadgets and things like that. So uh, well, without further ado, this would be, I think this is number six. This is like the sixth week in a row that we've done this. So uh, we're going to keep on plugging along, hopefully find some good stuff for you each week. So uh, what I found today was I found a bag. Uh, it's from a company called Wood and Oak. And so basically... Um, uh, well, it was, I originally found it in an article from business insider, but, um, this bag is, uh, basically a way for people to get around, um, having to check bags. Right. So, um, uh, so it's just, and I'll, and I'll, I'll try to put some pictures up over here so you can see it, but basically it's a large bag that separates into, uh, a couple different pieces or two pieces. So you can use one as a carry on and one as a backpack. So even though it's a large bag, you break it up and now you carry it onto a plane and, uh, you're not having to pay that $25 or $20, whatever it is for your airline, uh, uh, fee to have it, um, uh, in the plane or under the plane or whatever checked a bag checked. So anyways, I uh, definitely check that out. Um, I thought it was fascinating. Now, uh, this, this, this luggage might be a little bit on the pricier side. So, uh, maybe uh, I'll be able to find something that's a little less expensive for the average person, um, uh, that's looking for something that can do maybe some of the same things, but anyways, maybe, maybe you'll find that before I will. Uh, the next story we have uh, came from futurism.com. And basically the story had to do with uh, some new technology that, that's been developed uh, that can give batteries uh, greater storage capacity. And I think we've talked about this before uh, with other different articles. And, and I know from my personal experience, like uh, just in uh, the uh, RC uh, world, uh, when I was a kid, everything was like a nickel metal um NICAD rather uh, batteries, right? Just regular batteries and they're in battery packs. And that's how you ran RC, you know, cars and stuff. And then when I jump back into the, 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 um, uh, the, the hobby, now they have uh, all these, you know, lipo batteries and all that kind of stuff to where, uh, you know, batteries can go 30 minutes instead of like seven minutes, which was just amazing. So anyways, with that being said, this technology, um, and I'm, I'll be straight up with you. I'm not even going to pretend to even understand it. And I'm not even trying to uh, tell you all the, the technical verbiage, but I will link to it in um, the article, which, which I'll link to in this video. So you can just go there and then, then get to the original one. But uh, basically they, they've, they've kind of developed some uh, on a, on a smaller scale, some technology that um, uh, allows uh, batteries to, again, again carry uh, or store more, more energy. And they basically drew a line from this technology to uh, electric cars saying, you know, if they could, if they could, uh, you know, master this technology and put it on a larger scale, then that would really help the, um, the electric car industry, uh, compete with like the distance and things like that with, uh, you know, traditional vehicles, you know, running on gas. So, uh, you know, anyways, I, I'm definitely, uh, looking forward to that. I, I personally can't afford an electric car. Um, I mean, maybe I could have, you know, maybe if I had the opportunity, maybe I could have done it, but, uh, I've stuck with other vehicles that are gas and, um, you know, maybe someday I'll own an electric vehicle. Um, but at this moment, that's just not in my future. Okay, uh, the next one, um, this is basically, a, and you'll see it in the, in the, in the post, just, just a reminder um, to check out, I, I did post a video this week, um, I didn't get a chance to do a, uh, a new review, but I did finish the video from a review from last week, it's the Focus Power F10 Bluetooth earbud review, still using it, still love it, um, I, I really think this thing's fascinating, you can see the review yourself. Anyways, that's that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it. I talked about it like two times already. So yeah. All right. the The next uh, news story that I found was Audi is changing the way drivers use toll tags. 
So I checked this out. So basically, you know, um, at least in Washington, we have like we have a they get us all kinds of different ways. But basically, in a lot of states, there's this little box you put in your window. And you pay money to the state and it kind of loads you up, right? You put money on this box and so you can go through tolls and um, without having to, uh, you know, go through a toll booth. In some states, you just basically have it because, um, it, you know, I think it was like I was in D.C. or Virginia, like every five miles there was a toll. Uh, it might explain why their freeways are so awesome, you know, in regards to like, the, the, you know, perfectly maintained uh, that's where all the money's going to. Uh, but anyways, uh, enough of that. Um, uh, Audi came up with a uh, um, some technology where they're going to uh, put a transponder underneath the, the rearview mirror. Um, and I guess you're just going to load up that transponder. Now, that transponder is going to be able to uh, recognize like 97.8% of all the booths in the United States. Um, and even some in Canada and some in Mexico. So our, our neighbors, n- not they didn't say 90% of those, but uh, anyways, it might have some capability of recognizing that. But anyways, you won't have to um, have some kind of gaudy or ugly looking thing on the window of your car with Audi. Uh, it's just going to be kind of built in into the system. And I, of course, I don't know all the details on that, but um, and, and no price has been announced. And uh, the vehicle that they did show, I guess, in one of the pictures um, when uh, Audi announced it was in an in a Audi A8. So potentially that could be the vehicle um, that they uh, put it in. Now, personally, I, again, uh, in regards to affording vehicles, I can't afford an Audi. Uh, so I'm going to have to wait for an electric vehicle that's affordable for me uh, that has this gadget. So let me know if you guys hear about one. Um, the, uh, next story, uh, was interesting. Now I didn't know about this, this but apparently like in 2004, Fox, um, news 59 channel 59 or something to that effect, uh, did a report on a school that was going to be piloting a program to make them the safest school in America. Uh, and that involved, um, you know, cameras all through the, the, the school, uh, it, and, uh, had doors that weren't easily penetra- penetrable. Um, so if someone was trying to break down a door, it would take longer than a normal school door, like for classrooms and things like that. Um, it also required all the teachers to wear like a little lanyard with a key fob on it. So if they did see something, they could press that and that would alert everybody and the law enforcement as well. And um, I guess there'd be a monitoring system uh, in the police department to where uh, instead of taking like four minutes for them to even hear about it or for anybody to even call in something like a, a school shooting or something to that effect, they would have, it would take like two seconds for them to under- know what was going on and they could respond faster. They also, if, and if I read this correctly, um, they would have control of certain access points in the school. So, uh, you know, they could lock doors uh, and almost, uh, you know, maybe guide the bad guy out of the building or at least to a specific section away from people um, by unlocking or locking doors, which I thought was fascinating. So anyways, the whole reason I bring this up is that uh, this, the school um, uh, Southwestern high school in Shelbyville, um, which is in Indiana, Indiana wants to really push this technology out to all schools in Indiana. And I'm, and I heard uh, in the article that other schools in in Florida and things like that are, are considering this, uh, or looking into this type of technology from a company called uh, NetTalon. So um, anyways, I definitely check that out. It's called the Virtual Command Technology. Uh, check it out. I thought it was interesting. Um, uh, definitely something to look into. I, and again, I had no idea. I don't have cable, so I miss a lot of this stuff. Uh, but uh, check that out. The, the link will be in the uh, article. Uh, and, and guys, you know what? That's all I have today. Uh, This episode was brought to you by Private Investigator Advice. Private Investigator Advice has uh, three templates currently for sale on the website. We have the intake sheet, the uh, retainer agreement, and we have the surveillance template. Now, the surveillance template uh, is not just the template itself. You're going to get the example uh, report that goes along with it, so you can kind of get an idea of what information goes where. And I've also added a video to that bundle to where it shows you uh, in the uh, surve- for the surveillance template, you know, okay, this is what you're going to say here. This is what this means. This is what this reflects. Here's how to put a picture in it, and just in case you didn't know. Uh, so anyways, uh, that is for sale. I'm going to put a link in this video in the details. 
of this video on YouTube. I'm also, you can always go to piadvice.net and usually there's little boxes on the right hand side, you know, it's going to have uh, investigator bundle or might have surveillance template, retainer agreement. Look out, we're going to have some more um, uh, templates uh, being posted, you know, probably within the next week or two. Um, so check out that as well. Um, and if you decide to pick one up, I thank you in advance. Um, and, and that just goes to supporting the, uh, you know, Pride Investigator Advice uh, thing we got going on here. And that's all I have for you guys this week. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and I hope you found these um, articles valuable. Again, I'm going to put a link in the details of this video. That's going to take you to the website. And it's going to show you each story is going to have a link to all the, uh, not only the news story, but usually what the news story is referring to. All right, guys, thank you again, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.